click on create select the document rename the document as flange coupling first let us try to create the flange one so for that I am going to create the sketch on the front plane before creating the sketch first let us define the variable so here in this one you're having the variable click on that and give the name as diameter don't give any space and give the value as 100 mm tick mark click on the front view front plane and make a sketch view normal to the sketch plane so here I am going to draw the axis first for that select the line command and the construction command draw an axis then draw the cross section of the flange So here the gap is equivalent to diameter so let's dimension this as equivalent to the variable d and the last one is equivalent to the diameter 4d so the radius is 2d but the diameter is 4d so let's try to define this first between these two the diameter is 4d how to define is 4 multiplied by you enter the hash symbol automatically the list of variables will come select from this so 4 multiplied by diameter so it will automatically define it as 400 now this gap it is 2 times the diameter so 2 multiplied by hash and give diameter so it will becomes 200 and this one is equivalent to D so type hash and select the diameter and this distance it is equivalent to the diameter so type hash and change it into diameter and this distance is equivalent to 0.5 times the diameter so 0.5 multiplied by type hash and enter the diameter so we got all the datas okay so I accept this one let's change this into diameter let's change this into diameter so we got all the cross sections which is required for creating a flange let's confirm the sketch choose the revolve command so in this one mention that's as a solid face a sketch regions to revolve is this click on the revolve axis and select this axis so you can able to get this cross section let's confirm this now I want to create a holes in this let us try to make the holes so for that I'm going to select this surface and draw the sketch plane view normal to the sketch plane so in this one first let me draw the construction circle at the hole radius so the hole is at the circumference of 3d so let's try to draw 
a circle from here the diameter of that one is 3 times the d so 3 multiplied by type hash so automatically the diameter will come click on the diameter and press enter so it will be changed as d click on this and convert it into the construction line so that it will becomes construction line so now let's try to create a point along this vertical plane here at the intersection of the circle so choose the point command along the plane you just click on this one so it will create a point on the circumference of the circle so let's confirm the sketch now let's try to create a hole so click on the hole option here make the choices as simple through custom and here the diameter is 10 mm sketch points to place is this one okay but here the diameter is not 10 it's 0.3 times the diameter so 0 0.3 multiplied by type hash the diameter so if you enter it you will get the required diameter for it because all dimensions are proportionate in the flange coupling so the hole is 0.3 times the diameter click on the tick mark to confirm it let's try to pattern this holes which is required at equal spacing with four instances let's try to select the circular pattern command change the path pattern to feature pattern features to pattern you can select either from here or from the feature tree so i'm going to select from the feature tree as whole axis of the pattern you select any circle so automatically it will give you the instances the number of instances required is 4 so I keep the same I don't change it here click on the tick mark to confirm it now we need a small groove here which is at a diameter of 2d so let me select this particular surface and make a sketch view normal to the sketch plane so here I no need to draw it because already I am having a diameter parallel to it so I can use a command called use or project so click on this one and select this particular circle automatically that circle will be projected here and it will come as a fully constrained so no need to define it directly confirm the sketch extrude this sketch here I am going to remove it for a dimension for a depth of 5 mm that is 0 0.02 times the D okay 0 0.02 times the D so 0 0.02 multiplied by the diameter so you're having a depth 0 0.02 times the d so here we are having this okay so the extrude is sorry it's 0 0.05 0 0.05 times the d sorry 0 0.05 times the diameter let's confirm the sketch okay now we are going to create a shaft and there is a groove for key and the hole 
and a key so all we are going to create in the same part studio before that if you want to rename the part you can rename the part here so rename the part as flange 1 okay now let's try to create a shaft let's try to create it So for creating a shaft, I am going to make a sketch on this one. Here I am going to use this particular circle because the whole diameter is equivalent to the shaft diameter. So let me use the use command or project command, click on this. So you will get that particular circle. Okay. Now let's try to extrude the shaft. So here I'm going to make it as a new and this face I'm going to extend it for a depth equivalent to diameter. And on the other side I'm going to change the option as up to face and select this face the inner face of it so here we are not going to add it make sure that it is not add change that as a new and give it as a tick mark so that there will be a shaft which is separate will come over here so we are having a shaft and the flange so the part 2 you rename it as a shaft one now let's try to make a groove okay on the same place so here so let's try to make a sketch view normal to the sketch plane so here i'm going to make it so in this one i'm going to use a center point rectangle so here a center point rectangle so from the origin you try to drag it and click on the circle and create the center point rectangle okay so here the dimension is both sides it is 20 and confirm the sketch sorry I, I mistakenly placed so here we have to place the group so a sketch on the same face sketch on the same face but here we need to draw so a center point circle here we need to draw for 20 mm on each side let's confirm the sketch then let's try to extrude this to make a groove okay so here and on the opposite side let's try to make a straight groove so for that i'm going to use a command extrude and i'm going to remove it face and sketch regions to extrude is the last sketch what i had drawn that square okay so in this direction i'm going to make it as a through wall and in the second direction also I am going to make it as through wall. So on the other side, I am going to make it as through wall. And the merge scope is between this part and this part. So shaft and flange. You can see here there is a groove created already. So click on that green tick mark to confirm it. So you can see here there is a groove created exactly half on the shaft and half on the flange 
let's try to make a key here which is a rectangular bar let's try to make that by using the same sketch command okay so same sketch can be used for multiple parts so let's try to extrude it so in this one i'm going to make a new so in this i'm going to use a sketch one in that one side so this is the one side and this is the other side so both side we need the key so here this side let me try to make it up to face till this face and then in the second end position it is up to face till the inner face so we are having a key here let's confirm the x row so there is a shaft flange coupling and there is a key okay so we have drawn the one side of the flange coupling we are going to draw the other side of the flange coupling so for that you no need to draw it the only difference between the flange one and flange two is this groove so here the there is a groove like structure for a 2d diameter but in the other flange it is protruded that is the only difference other than that all the dimensions are same so let us try to make that only change just by duplicating all this one so for example let me rename this part as a flange sub assembly 1 so let me try to duplicate this right click on this one select duplicate so it will come as a sub assembly here it is copied now let's try to rename this as the sub assembly 2 okay so let's try to go into this here let's try to rename the flange so rename that as a flange 2 rename it as a shaft 2 rename this as a key 2 okay so now let's try to change this particular flange so in this flange we are going to make this extrude as a change so here instead of removing we are going to add on the other side that is the only difference let's confirm it here there is some changes are happening here so whatever it is coming as a red, uh, red color let us try to edit it so here in this one there is a missing face for the second end position so let's try to have it again because the face we have changed so let's try to click on this automatically it will be rectified you can see here it is rectified now we are having the second sub assembly with the protrusion here and with the groove here let's try to make the assembly of this two here the bowls are given in the diagram but you no need to draw the bowls you can make it on the assembly easily so let's try to make that so in the assembly let's try to insert the flange sub assembly one so let's try to include the flange so whenever you click on it automatically it will come over here 
so once you click on the flange one you can click on the green tick mark without clicking on the graphics area if you click on the graphics area it will be positioned so don't click on the graphics area directly click on the tick mark so you're having the flange here so once you have inserted the flange right click on the flange and make it as fix so that you won't able to move the flange now let's try to insert the sub assembly one the shaft one so here you are having a shaft so in this one let's try to assemble these two parts together okay so for that i am going to use the fasten mate so click on the fasten mate it will ask for mate connectors so click on this one and you try to select this particular area automatically it will select the cylindrical face okay if you place your mouse over it hold the shift then move to this end so it will select the three axes similarly you select this one it is the cylindrical face hold the shift and select this particular end so automatically it will be fixed over here click on the green tick mark let's try to do the similar thing for the key so let's try to insert the flange sub assembly one the key one let's try to keep this here now i'm going to insert it on this particular place so let me try to insert so for that i need to select the fasten mate select the mate connector select the bottom edge so once you place your mouse over it it will show you the three axes hold the shift so that it won't deselect and click over the end so one mate connector is selected now let's try to come over here try to make a zoom so this axis hold the shift and select the end so automatically your key will be fastened over here click on the green tick mark to confirm it so we have assembled one assembly here sub assembly here let's try to insert the next sub assembly so flange 2 let me try to make it as per the diagram it is on the opposite side so what we need to do is we have to rotate this part so for that click on the face once you click on the face it will show you the rotating handles these are all called rotating handles and these are called translation handles if you try to click on this arrow it will try to move in the translational direction and if you click on this one it will try to rotate so let me click on this rotation handle and let me try to move it so in this direction i need to turn this in the opposite direction that is like a flip so i am going to give 180 degree type it so it will turn to 180 degree and just click over there now as per the diagram this key grow and this key grow is not in the same direction it is on the rotated direction at an angle of 90 degree so let's try to rotate the face so here this rotation angle i'm going to do it so the rotation is 90 degree so like this we must have similarly we will try to insert the shaft 
and the key over here let's try to insert it subassembly 2 that is a flange 2 is already inserted shaft 2 and the key 2 so first let me try to insert the key over here in any order you can able to place it it's not a problem So first let me try to insert the key over here then also I can rotate it. So here fasten mate of this key of this end at this particular groove at this end. So we have fastened the key over here now let's try to rotate this one also so click on this face and use this rotation handle what is the angle we need to give 90 degree so click on 90 degree and confirm now the same cylindrical face you try to mate it so here i'm going to use the fasten mate Select this end. Similarly, this one I am going to select this end. So, this will also automatically move just for a temporarily, it is showing. So, it will move now. Okay. So, this is one flange and this is another flange. Now, let us try to attach these two together. Let's try to do the fasten mate. So this groove depth the center you need to select the same way this groove depth you need to make the center so it will try to attach together just click on the tick mark to confirm it so now we have attached the two flanges together now let's try to insert the bolt here you no need to draw the bolt in the assembly bolt and nut you can insert it directly so just click on the insert go to the instead of current document and other document go to standard content click on the standard content here select the bolt and screws in the class hexagonal bolt and screws and here you just check it out whether that option is available if not Go to the next ISO standard, bolt grade A. Because the diameter is approximately 30, so here you should go for the next size. So after 16 only it will come on this grade of bolts. So now let us try to select the whole size. Let's select this one. Let me make it as 30. Okay. So click on this one, this one, this one, and this one. Just select the edges of the hole. Okay. So you're having the 30 mm diameter. So I am selecting it as M30 and just click insert. So it will automatically insert the bolts. You no need to draw it. Okay. So you can insert the bolts. Similar way, 
you can insert the nuts so go to insert iso bolt and screw so here it is a nuts just check it out 30 size is there if not go to the next standard the same standard will be applicable here So select the M30 and select the other edge, other end of the edge. So here, here, here and here. Just click on the four edges where the nut is going to be placed. Just click insert. automatically the nut will be inserted over here according to the corresponding size confirm the sketch so now we got all our components over here thank you for watching